Okay, so uh, now we've uh, already cut the uh, angle for this trim, so it goes to the outside of our battens to the furthest extent of our roof size. Uh, and the main priorities when we're installing the angle trim is to make sure that we have the tall flange gives us our uh, standard roof height, and that is nice and plumb and upright against your wall, parapet wall, uh, etc. Um, so what we recommend is that we now lightly pin our trim into position and always stand back and take a profile look because I don't know about you Andy but yeah. I've never come across a flat flat roof. <laughs> ah, definitely not. You know? Definitely not. So, so just starting off in the middle. So by not knocking your clout all the way home, at least you've got the opportunity now to um, just re remove it and adjust your trim to suit, and then perfect. So we're quite happy that that's now held in place. We don't need to fix up against the wall or any no. structure. No, that's just freestanding. So that's completely supported by the wall. And, and, and again, you see how flexible all these trims are. This might be a fixed point. This is your lean-to extension. You might have movement between the two, and that allows everything just to move nicely yep. between the two. So now we're happy. We can actually now start pinning up our trims, and we, we like to do four inch or less centers. you put in the better your job's going to be. So, so now we're going to do our pre So on this, on this example we're going to use one of the preform corners um, which is basically going to sit on the corner of the roof here and this enables us to link to it with the drip edge trim yes. and also with the water check trim as well. Now with these trims, the preform ones you'll see there is quite a shine to them. Um, so they're hand laid up, that's going to be a little bit of release um, agent on there as well, isn't it? Yeah. So what we do need to do, because we want to laminate onto these, and of course we're going to cover the entire thing with top coat, we need to take that shine off of that trim. So rub it up with a bit of sandpaper, just making sure everywhere where we're going to laminate onto, Preparation you do of your corner, the, the, the better it can be. So, where the corner is going to sit in place, there we're going to put a bead of trim adhesive behind it to glue it into place and then we'll mechanically fix it. So, a good nice bead. So, press that into place and then we can use our clout nails just to hold it tight. Always trust your work, mate. <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> so that's in place now, and now we're ready to link. Heads. Tails. We'll put that one afterwards. <laughs> right. So from there, we're going to show you the drip edge trim going on the front. We are going to use two pieces of drip edge trim, um, which is going to show you basically how we join trims together yes. when the length is in excess of three meters, which is the length yes. of the standard trim. So, so again, what we're going to do, we just, the best thing to do is lay it in position on yep, your That's where it's going to go. So, so we, it off. Yep. And now, where we join two trims together, we always put a bead of the trim adhesive between the two, and then a decent, if you could lay that in place, and you saw now how far I'm going to go with it. Oh. Yep. So now, oh. roll that up and over. And I suggest the best way of doing this is just to wipe that onto your batten 
you'd be kneeling on your roof, lean over, wipe that onto your baton, and then again, if we get our clout nails. But let's just make sure we've got that in the right position, Sean, because I didn't do the measuring on this, so let's just see. Okay. We're going to be, yep, we're okay with that there. Brilliant. So we're looking for 75 mil to 100 mil overlap on those trims. So again, if we lightly pin it, uh, we can stand back, even our someone who's in the garden, looking up, making sure that everything's nice and plumb and straight. Um, because the worst thing is, if it's not, and it looks horrible afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so we can put the second bit in. Yep, put the second okay. bit in. So again, trim adhesive between the two lengths of trim. Absolutely. And when we've laminated over this joint later on and use the tissue bandage, it's going to be a very nice smooth joint, so it's not going to stand up. So again, what we do is we want to clip these together. Basically, we're going to lay that up, pull that into position like so, and then we can again pin it in position. With your end there, Sean? Yep. Lovely. So that's enough. Again, loosely pinned. Yep. And if we're happy with that, I think we are. Yep. We can now fix that trim in fix place. In. If you've noticed also, we've actually uh, pinned into the front edge of the old area, back end of that trim, because we're going to be bandaging these trims with a fiberglass bandage, 75 mil wide. So we want to cover the fixings as well. So if we bring the, the pins too far forward, the bandage and the laminate won't cover it. Yep. And what we've done here as well, we haven't brought the drip edge trim right up close to this okay. detail on the corner, because again, we want to use the uh, bandage over this area here. If we bring it up too close, it's a difficult detail to do. That gives us plenty of room to laminate onto. That's it. Brilliant. So what we got left to do, Andy, is the, the two, is the um, two upstand water check trims. Right. So, so basically, what we're going to be doing is we want to shape our water check trim into our angle fillet trim. You got the pencil, or have I got the pencil? I think you've got the pencil. So, basically what we're looking to do is to shape the trim. So where this trim is here, we want to put a cut across there. That is where the back of that trim sits. And we now just literally want to scribe a line down through there. And that bit there is the bit that's going to come out. Come to this end here again. We want a small gap that we're going to laminate onto, so we're literally going to mark our trim across. We'll then transfer that line on nice and straight with a square down the face edge there, and that trim is ready to go into place. That's it. So we have one that we prepared earlier. Yeah, uh, I think we have. If you if you pass me that, I'll go and try yep. and trim that one up. And what I'll do is I'll start fixing this one, Sean. So while tri Sean is trimming up that length of trim out there, here's the one that we prepared earlier on. And you can see where we've taken the back edge out of the trim there, and we've literally cut up to the top edge there, so it's going to marry into this slope here. So we just pop it into place, make sure that we're happy with it. And that is going to be with a little bit of trimming now on that edge there. If we're happy with that. So we just need to shorten that one. To shorten that one down just a little bit, which we can do. We've got a mark on there. Just really cut that one. And again, face edge. And now we're able to just literally transfer our mitre over onto there. So 
So one more cut for Sean there. So I think that fits nicely. Very, very nice. Right, so while you cut that, Sean, yep. I'll glue this onto the batten. So we're gonna take our trim adhesive again, as we said before, nicely along that batten. And of course, because we're doing two things together, we'll be the trim of these down the face. Now it gives us the opportunity to put that trim nicely into place. And I can now literally hold that in place with one. Having a look to make sure that the trims are nice and upright that I haven't pushed them too far over. And now this one. It's going to be fixed. So I think we're ready for this one as well. So yeah, I'm, uh, we can put that one in shot, can't we? Again, don't forget the trim is it's most important. more nails. I think we're up right. Can you want to just check on that, that uh, angle there? Yep, looks good job. Brilliant. As you see, once your batten's in position, it really doesn't take long for you to cut and trim up a roof. And so now, with all of these preformed trims, we've now got a really crisp, clean perimeter to the roof. Yep. It's going uh, to give it a really good look. All, all sealed up, so your, yep. your belt and braces on all the trims. Yep. So from here, basically what we want to do now is get everything off the roof that we don't need. So yep. all the tools that we don't need are going to come off the roof. And we're going to want to give this a really good sweep, sweep down. get rid of all the dust and then we're in a good position then to start going on to the next stage which is where we start to bandage all the joints dressing our corners and our overlaps on our trims good join us soon see you in the next episode mm -hmm.